Hello, everybody. I'm MC Gamer. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. This kid's trying to pop this balloon, and as much as we've tried to escape this vile town called Clock Town, we can't get out. So instead, we're going to use our power of bubbles uh, to pop the balloon. There we go. Jim walked right in front of us, and we're like, look, at we're standing behind him like, get, get on, sucker. What are you staring at, Link? Stop that. He's just a child. Are you the one who popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easy. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? I have nothing else better to do. All right, line up, guys. Here they are. The five of us will run and hide in different places all over town. If you can catch all of us before sunrise, we'll teach you the secret code. Oh, and Deku Nuts aren't fair game. They're bright and hurt our eyes, so you can't use them, okay? You got that? All right. Are you ready? I already said I was ready. That kid is a dork. He should be expelled, and I should be allowed in. So let the games begin. It's time to find the kids in the town. It's quite an interesting game that'll take us some time as I'm bad at catching these kids. There's the first one. Got him. There's only four left, apparently. It's very kind of them to give us the, the count, because counting down for five is one of my uh, least least present skills. Oh, it's the first time we're entering, what is this, west? East? It's a clock town. We know that much. East. East clock town. All right, now. So, I have some theories on where these children could be hiding. The first one is that it could be up there. But I'm incorrect. You know why I'm incorrect? Because they've changed the game. Here, let, let me demonstrate where this kid actually is. Huh? Nope, that's just uh, money. Huh? Nope, that's also just money. I could have swore there was going to be a kid in one of those. Apparently, I was incorrect. Let's search up here. Can we go on top of the treasure chest shop? We cannot. That is not pr pr part of our uh, skill set. But we can go on top of this building. Silence, Tattle. I know what I'm doing. Aha! Found one. Got him. Three left. So, uh, it's actually something that he changed. Oh, let's, let's read it. I'm, I'm working on it. Thank you for the for the only leap till morning. Almost. So close. So, uh, it's actually a change they put in Majora's Mask 3D from the N64 version. They actually changed... The locations of the bomber kids uh, before they were not present inside boxes but now well bam they are see there's only two left now because one of them was in a box don't know why he decided to hide in a box but that's not really for me to uh, criticize if you want to live in a box that's that's your prerogative your pierogi as they say where i come from it's now evening time which is really cool i love how the day changes i see one of the kids he's just he's just waiting for me uh, I think there's another one inside here, too, inside a box. But we're going to have to find that out as we climb up here. Okay, I see him. Hello. Oh, got him. Only one left. And the, the there's a, a chime. Chiming, as, a, as it turns out. I hear it going gong, gong, gong. Wow, the gonging is, is getting fast. It's very fast, this gonging. Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. We've already wasted 12 hours doing literally nothing. Saving a fairy. Like, who even cares about the fairy? That was some good music I just heard. Um, right. Last child. This is, this is the part where MC forgets where the last child is. Because he's apparently really bad at this game. Alright. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in a box. But I don't think there's any more boxes. He used to be back here, I think. Look, they're, they're taking the day off. I swear he was in this town over here. What's this fellow doing? Hello, how do you do? I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. All right, well, I believe you. You're just, of course, enjoying the slide. That makes sense to me. Hello. We will find that box and we will destroy it. I swear it was one of these two boxes down here. Unless the kid has escaped into it in the meantime. Now, see? 
You see, this is why we can't have nice things. Because Super MC Gamer has already forgotten how to beat this video game. And we're only in episode two. Dang it, I swear that that kid was there. It's... It makes me upset. It makes me... It, just, it, it makes me a little salty. Wait, let's go check the laundry pool. That makes sense. That's the only area of Clock Town we haven't checked. I'm so dumb. This kid is going to be right here inside a box, isn't he? Box, I see you. Ah, no way. You finally got me. That's right. You're pretty good for a daycare scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! Guess not. Once we let once we let some kid who wasn't a human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. This seems very discriminative, and I will be having a word with your superiors. I'll teach you the code. I can only tell you once, though, so pay close attention. Two. 23 is number one! Got it. 23 is number one. 45. <laughs> Got it. That's actually pretty cool. Good luck that we got 23 is number one in there. I feel like this Let's Play was meant to be at this point. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, th th this, this is okay. I I'm all right. I'm happy. This is, I'm happy with this. This is good. So let's go and try to enter the secret hideout. If you want to pass through here, you got to see the secret code. 23 is number one. 45. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. You know, I probably could just, like, have spit at him. Like, he doesn't seem too phased by it. Perhaps he likes bubbles. I mean, most kids like bubbles. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you like bubbles as a kid. I'm just kidding. You don't actually have to do that. I liked bubbles as a kid. Where am I going? This is dangerous. We've sunken, and we, we have sunk. Hey, you, don't get too complacent because your body's made of wood. You don't want to drown some stinky pool, do you? What is Link doing? <laughs> doing my talking to Tattle Dance, talking to Tattle Dance. You can probably skip along the water surface up to five times in one go, but be careful. Just don't overthink it. <laughs> I, I like how she's like, I'd say that's about how it is. Look. Clock. All right. Well, here we go. Up to five times. That's just enough times. Hello. It's a Skulltula! Now it's a dead Skulltula. So it's uh, it's pronounced Skulltula. You want to know why? Tarantula. Chula. Skulltula. Thought you might want to know. Thought, thought that that might prove to be interesting. What are these drawings on the wall? Literal nonsense. All right, cool. The bombers are weird. Like, their hideout is... It's pretty cool, but it has, like, nothing in it. you think they'd, like, bring in some chairs or something. Like, when I was a kid, I had a secret hideout inside the woods outside my house. Uh, and it was because I played games like Zelda. I was like, I want to have a secret Zelda hideout. Link, don't do that. And, uh... It was cool and all, except I had chairs and things to sit on. Hey, look where we're at! Some place. What do you want? I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Whoa, look at the time! You don't even have three days left! I mean, we technically didn't have three days left the second we, we started. Hey, look, more, uh, more drawings. Oh, a professor, it seems. Clock. Very nice. Hello, Mr. Skullkit. Wait, hold on. Is that a dog? What, wait, what is that? Is that a... Okay, it's a chicken in a coop. Alright. What is this place? Ooh. This place is nice. I like how there's stars. Just, I guess it is nighttime. I was gonna say, despite it being daytime, no, it's actually nighttime. Yo, look at this comfy couch. It only has one arm. Must be a rental. All right, so let's go up here. Hello. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the bombers gang? Mm, your manners seem much better than those mischievous friend from the other day. Uh, uh, uh. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping. Yo, moon's tear in that case on the left. I'll take that. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Of course. I love telescopes. One of my favorite hobbies. I don't actually use telescopes. 
Um, so we can look around here. Whoops! I accidentally canceled. I didn't. I did not. I need. I need. I need to yeah, try again. Can I? Can I try again? Please. Thank you. I accidentally hit the wrong button. It's uh, X to zoom out. I see. All right. Clock tower. Let's zoom in. Aha! Found him. He's on top of the clock tower. Don't know how he got up there. I mean, he has a floating magic. Hello, moon. That moon is actually quite threatening. I must say, I'm sure many of you know the story of Majora's Mask, but I still have to say, that is one threatening looking moon. Hey! Hey! Don't shake that in my general direction. That's not very nice of you. Where well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon steer I saw nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and it only opens on the eve of the carnival. Well, luckily, it's absolutely beautiful. All right, taking this. This is mine now. You got the moon steer. It sparkles. Spark. Blue, it, it's doing stuff. Hey, just so you know, items like this are called gear. Gear is basically stuff you wouldn't normally need to mess with or think about. Tap on the, the, the gear button if you want to take a look at the gear you've collected. Hmm. The moon sure is huge right now. It looks like it's going to come crashing down on us. But don't worry about that, Slee Moon. Let's focus on the Skull Kid. We know where he is now, and there's nothing left to do here. Let's go to the Clock Town. Clock Tower. It only opens on the eve of the carnival, though, so we need a way to get to the eve of the carnival, which is on the third day. How do I know such things? I've played this game before, so don't don't question me, all right? Don't question me, chat. Audience. Ch -ch audience. I've, I've, I've made a joke about this before. Hello. Yo, hey, baby, I'm a styling scarecrow wanting such a pleasant music. Time will dance in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, babe, we can dance until dawn. That sounds productive. In that case, forget the time. Let's dance. All right. I, you can dance. I'll just watch. I mean, you're very entertaining. I mean, scarecrows typically don't do this. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Oh, yeah. How was it? It went by an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like me, we can... Forget the time and dance till night. Shall we dance? Uh, sure. All right. Bop, 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 bop. Bum, bum. It is now night of the second day. Shall we dance till dawn? Shall we dance? Yes! All right. Flashing forward through time once more, and I think we're gonna have to go one more time. I think we're gonna have to go one more time, and we should be able to get to the final day. And that's exactly where we need to be. Dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. And yes, well, you can actually, wait. I wait, I said I want to dance again. He the, it defaulted to no. Why would they do that? Yes, we shall dance one more time. Very good. And night of the final day. 12 hours remain. And yes, it, the time went by very fast. See you later, baby. He's out of town. He's leaving. And so we're going to head now back to Clock Town. We have the Moon's Tier that we need. We have location of the Skull Kid pinned down. We have the power of bubbles. We should be able to take down Skull Kid. No problemo. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we do have a... Oh, oh, okay. Careful now. Careful now. If we drown, it's game over, man. The Earth seems to be shaking. I don't know what that's all about. Hello? I don't like it when the Earth shakes randomly. It's scary, to, to be brutally honest with you. 
All right. Let's take a look at the sky here. Hmm. I think that's closer than before. Right. That's no good. That's no good at all. All right, let's see here. Where the heck is... There he is. Scrub man, speak to me. I have your moon steer. The town's carnival started to look a little iffy. I think I have a close enough shell so I get a gift for my wife and return to the village. Moon steer, shines bright. I have one. Here you go. Bam. What do you think of this? Ah, that stone, you must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included, yes? Yes. I have traded the moon's tier for a town title deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange probably a stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for the spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. And off he goes. Now, before we take this uh, this flower up to the clock tower, which is, of course, what we're doing, uh, I want to show you guys something different, which is right here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. This is the bank. In fact, we'll read it. Clock Town Bank. So before in uh, the N64 version of this game, the uh, bank was over yonder inside uh, West Clock Town. But here, it has been moved conveniently right to the back of the clock tower. Very nice and easy, so you can put away your money. Hey there, little guy, won't you deposit some rupees? Now at AZ and people don't have any money, they don't deposit anything, nothing, nothing! So for a little more time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get a Primo wallet that holds a lot of rupees. What would it be? I'll deposit rupees. All right, so how much rupees? All of them. Seriously, that's a lot, a lot, a lot! So little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link is it? Got it, I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special link. Hey, relax, doesn't leave any mark, then it's not gonna hurt. That. There, now I'll know you when I see you. All right, little guy, now I got a total of 42 rupees for me. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. So we do need to get up to 200 rupees. We need that wallet uh, for, for our run of this game. Uh, but we'll, we'll get more on that later. So here we go. Big jump. We're going to land right over here in front of the clock town entrance and grab our very first piece of heart. If we collect four, we'll get a new heart container. And each one will increase the amount of life energy I can have. As you can see on the screen, I have three. Looks like we still can't use the stairs to lead up to the roof. Oh, well, it can't be helped. For now, let's just do something to pass the time. Chat with people, do a little dance, whatever. It's not really my business. Here's the thing. There's nothing I want to do. Nothing at all. Nope. So I'll see you guys at midnight. Ah! It seems things are happening. I was merely reading a, a document on the internet about uh, uh, dogs, actually. It's carnival time, though. <laughs> Enough about dogs. And now let's continue. Aha, good, the clock tower's open, the carnival has begun, and now we can finally get to that dirty skull kid and tell him what for. Tell him that we're upset at him. Oh, good. Don't stop now, look, you can get up there now. Hmm, that countdown is ominous. Up we go. There he is. Hello. Blue flute. My blue flute. My blue flute. I want that. Can I have that back, please, sir? Thank you. Sis! Ah, uh, Tail, we've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey! Come on, are you listening? Swamp. Mountain. Ocean. Canyon, hurry. The four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think you're still our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Yeah! Screaming. I, I thought the moon was closer than before. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely going to collide with Earth. Wait a minute, I'm on the Earth. This is not a situation I was prepared for. I know what to do, though. 
Bubbles! Blue flute, blue flute, blue flute. Don't break. Thank goodness. This is a strong blue flute. Mine. You got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. I thought it was called Blue Flute, but Ocarina of Time, that's a cool name too. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when we, I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. Played the song of time. You remembered the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. And we're back from flashback land. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina isn't back isn't gonna help us! Somebody, anybody, got us a time! Help us, please! We need more time! That sounds like a job for Blue Flute! Huh? That is weird. When did you... Aha! Blue Flute has transformed into five brass instruments. Play that funky music. We seem to be losing our items. Goodbye items. Goodbye money. Goodbye Deku sticks. Or nuts, as it were. And we fall back through time. no more viewing tonight.